I don't know, boy. This old room brings back some memories, don't it? Right, to be back company. home, though, ain't it, buddy? Isn't this nice? Yeah. What do you think now about the way that we were as characters on the show? Lucky. Damn lucky. Leonard Kassman was a genius behind this right. thing. Right, right. But yeah. it was... We wouldn't have been on the air without yeah. him. Everybody always asks me this question all the time. You know, do you, do, did Bobby really hate JR and did JR hate Bobby? Oh, I don't think so. And I didn't, I always say no. No, no they were brothers. I mean, they hated each other like brothers, you know. I mean, right. that's a different kind of hate. And that they actually both thought they were doing the right thing. Well, I never thought you were doing the right well, thing. Well, <laughs> no, each, we thought we were doing oh, the right yeah, thing. Yeah. And you yeah. thought you were doing the right yeah, thing. Yeah, well, I was. No. Until <laughs> I lost money for the oil company. Did you ever figure that out? I did. I lost $2 billion <laughs> for you and all. <laughs> I never felt we were in competition. I felt you run the office and I do the deals. And do the business. Yeah. Right. I always had to do things legal, proper, above board, <laughs> and explain to everybody why I was doing it. Yeah. And you would just go do stuff. Yeah. A move like that will destroy all of you in oil, not just your half. And it'll ruin our family name. I assure you, a thought like that never crossed my mind. Brother or no brother, whatever it takes, I'll stop you from destroying you in oil. You just gonna sit there staring out in space the whole trip? No use saying anything. You and I can't talk for five minutes without getting a fight over something. The oil business is going down the drain. I was forced to shut down all of our stripper wells today. Now, I don't expect you to make those kind of decisions for me, but it would be nice if you dropped into the office occasionally and helped me shoulder the load. Are you through? No, I'm not. I think you are. I have a couple Why more things to say. Why don't you shut up and listen to I me? I don't particularly care for that tone of voice. I asked Pam to marry me last night, and she said she would. All right. If you want to ruin your life, go ahead. But you're a whole lot dumber than I ever thought a brother of mine could be. People are always asking why we fought. Right. Well, we fought because we had to fight. I mean, that was just the way we were. But very seldom did I ever hit you. It was always grab, threaten, and then nothing would... would when happen. I burst into tears, yeah. yes. <laughs> oh, please don't hit me. Please don't hit me, Bobby. We'll always be brothers, Jr. But if you ever try and force me to choose, there's not a chance in a million I'd choose you or any family above my wife. I don't think you're... It was a dumb, stupid oh, trick, Diane! If we ever do it again, I... your brother! Please. The name of the game is huge. You're Profits destroying the the everything year. that Daddy spent his you life building. You're trying to tell me how to run my half. You're damn business. right, I am. You've you got to stop you can it. Put that, I'll show you what I can Pick it up! You run a fight, you can go out behind the stables. This is your style, JR. My wife and the man that put Cliff Barnes in office. Your wife got in plenty of trouble before you all got married. I, I don't understand why you'd think she'd change. Hey, wait a minute. What the hell's going on? Are you going to punch me out? No, I'm not. Good, because you're younger and stronger than I am, and I don't look forward to having dinner with our mother with a split lip. I was not a fool. When we fought, I just went limp. <laughs> <laughs> Why I mean, would I fight you? You got more muscle than your eyebrows than I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but your eyebrows are in a constant oh, yeah, flex. They're long, yeah. <laughs> They'll threaten you, you to death. <laughs> the only way that you got hurt is every time I would grab Larry by the shirt, I would come up with this little tuft of hair. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm bald here. <laughs> and he would go, ow, 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 every time I would grab him by the shirt. You know what most people don't know is how long we were friends and, and our history before we even started this show. You knew my parents before oh, you ever that's knew right. me. Yeah. I went up to Boulder with my kids yeah. and I was in camping out across the country and we ran into the Owl Bar up there. <laughs> and I spent some time in the Owl Bar. I can and imagine. And your daddy and mama used to run that yeah. place. Yeah. And I would get a phone call from them when I was driving a truck and they'd say, Call this nice Mr. Hagman. Maybe he can help you in the business. <laughs> and I didn't know who the hell Mr. Hagman was. Do you think I've helped you in the business? Yes, buddy. <laughs> yes, buddy. Ta-da, ta-da. <laughs>